Hi guys, I'm Working Dad Trader, and it's about time that we talked about the elephant in the room. Uh-oh. <laughs> so Chinese stocks. Does your portfolio like that, what we've just seen? My portfolio is getting slapped, and it's been, it's been getting slapped for the last 12 months. Um, if we look at the Chinese index, it's down 31% from its highs. Um, if you've been following me on my Trading 2 and 2 series, you know that I'm invested in Alibaba and Tencent. Um, I'm sure lots of other people have also invested in Alibaba, Tencent, JD.com, etc. I mean, Alibaba is down 54% in the last 12 months. Um, Tencent is down 80 odd percent in the last 12 months. So, what I'm going to go through in this video is I'm going to give views and give and tackle these important questions of do we buy, do we sell, or do we hold? Okay, so I want to start with saying and saying again. This is very important. These are just my own personal views, and you must do your own research and look into the stocks before you make any decisions, especially when it comes to Chinese stocks, because obviously they're a lot higher risk than normal stocks. So please, please, please always make sure you know what you're doing and you're comfortable with your decisions and give, risking your money. Okay, so these are just my personal views. So as a long-term investor um, like myself, I would ask the questions, what's happening in the last 12 months? Is it rational behaviour or is it irrational behaviour? Is it just media um, reaction and people reacting to media and what's on the social media, etc.? So you have to take a, take, take a step back and really think about, okay, what's going on? So question one would be, the businesses like Alibaba and Tencent that I'm invested in, have the fundamentals of these companies changed? Has something changed in the last 12 months as far as businesses? Um, has it changed? And is that why the stock price has plummeted 50, 80% in the last 12 months? So when you look at Alibaba, um, as we can see, we look on the income statement, we have growing revenue year after year, growing, growing, growing. And we look at net revenue, it's growing. It, leveled off a bit last year but a lot of that was because of the fine that they got from the Chinese government which affected obviously their balance sheet they had to pay the fine but they still did all right did very well and like I say revenue is growing um, so there's no problems there we look at the balance sheet how are the assets to the debt the debt is very low assets are growing year on year they could easily pay the debt off if they choose to so that's good. Um, Ten cent, similar story. Revenues growing, net revenues growing, all in upward angles. Um, balance sheets, the same type of story. Growing assets, not much in debt, can easily pay their debt off many times. So the fundamentals of these companies are good. Um, they're expanding. Okay, so the stocks are going down, people are panicking, people are selling. So why is this happening? So let's try and tackle some of these fears why people are selling in panic and dumping these stocks. Um, to start with, I shall do maybe the long-term uh, thought process maybe by why people are dumping these stocks. Okay, so number one I would say is probably the fears of the listing by the US um, regulators. Obviously, um, this is back in June 2021. The US Senate passed a bill um, that would allow the SEC to suspend companies from trading if they don't submit audited financial accounts by US auditors and um, they have to state whether they are owned by um, a foreign country, etc. Um, obviously, a lot of these Chinese companies don't want to fully give all their details across um, for China feels that it could be giving away uh, secrets etc um, so there's a lot of wrangling going on there um, between China and US um, basically uh, these companies 
obviously are from China, um, and the US wants them all to, to give all their financial statements over to make sure they're audited correctly, and they don't want any type of case where things are investors that are investing in them are investing in fraud. The companies are fraud, or there's something not quite right on the figures they're submitting to the records, etc. Um, China has recently come out and said um, only within the last few weeks that they will support their uh, Chinese companies abroad and are currently working with the US regulators to come up with some type of plan that they can sort out um, so this process can be done. Um, I find it interesting that companies like Alibaba and Tencent have been audited by big auditors companies around the world but because they're not US companies the US are saying that's not good enough so I find that quite interesting and there's also obviously the trade wars and stuff like that going on between the US and China so there's a lot of political stuff going on as well that as I think you the US are trying to make it as difficult as possible for Chinese companies to expand and do well and have more influence around the world etc um, so is this a reality? Could this really happen? Um, they, obviously, they started it in June 2021, um, and they're saying they need three years' worth of report. If this doesn't happen, then I think it's 2024, certain companies then will start being delisted. Now, this is a big fear, and obviously, no one really knows for definite what could happen. Um, would they delist some companies? Possibly. Um, would they pick on some of the smaller ones to do as a type of um, to scare people or to make a point? Possibly. Um, my own personal opinion is I think with the big companies like Alibaba, Tencent, etc., I would be really surprised if that happened. Um, for the simple reason is that the US regulators would be really hurting. Um, American people and American investors by doing that because there's an awful lot when you look into that who is invested in these companies um, there's a lot of US investors and US pensions invested in Alibaba and Tencent and people like that um, and I listed a lot of the big uh, investing firms that are already invested in it so they're invested in it even though people are saying well 2024 they're all going to get delisted that's why I think, thinking about it logically and rationally, is that likely to happen? I'm not sure, but I would find it surprising when, like I said, lots of US investors and other worldwide investors are invested in Alibaba, so they would damage and um, a lot of US companies and investors would be probably quite annoyed that the regulators did that. So that would be my logical approach to um, the delisting fear. Other things that I like to look at is who are the big players in the markets and who are holding these companies. You can get a lot of this information online. Um, I also like to look at some of my favourite investors and I looked at Bridgewater Associates, I've done a video about that lately, uh, just a few weeks back. Um, it's just seeing what they've invested in. Obviously that's slightly behind, it's about 45 days behind. But in P uh, quarter four of 2021, um, Bridgewater Associates, which is Ray Dalio's company, uh, increased their position in Alibaba by 30%, 30% more. Um, we look at other people like Charlie Munger, his portfolio, 27% of his company's portfolio is in Alibaba. You've got other companies like, obviously, uh, Goldman Sachs, big, big people. They've got nearly 40 million worth of shares um, in Alibaba. So why is the stock tanking when all these big players are investing into it? So, Tencent, let's have a look at that. Tencent, you've got big companies like Bailey Gifford, um, BlackRock and Vanguard. Lots of the um, ETFs and stuff that they do are all invested in Tencent. Um, big pension funds like the Canadian Pension Fund also invested in Tencent. So, if these companies are happy to invest, then what's going on here? Why is it going downhill? So all I'm saying is we have to look at these things rationally and think carefully about what is going on. 